Good morning, Ashburton Tiki Star staff and students. Today is Monday, March the 30th, 2020. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, you may be seated. Thank you, you may be seated. So students and staff, today is Monday, March the 30th, 2020. It is National Pencil Day, a day that we celebrate our friend, the pencil, which is our good friend, whether we are in school learning or learning at a distance. So Lily, tell me some things about National Pencil Day. Well, we everybody would have used pencils, but this day is to explore more about pencil categories, history, evolution, and other information. One fact is, in 1858, a patent obtained by Hyman Littmore sent Betchmark by its unique design. Before we had good, nicely done pencils like we do now, they used to be and look like an eraser with a stick at the bottom. That's right. Pencils used to not have that wood around it. It was actually just a piece of lead that they used to draw with. So that's awesome. So uh, we do have some birthdays that we're celebrating today. So it is time for our birthday announcement. All right, so celebrating birthdays today are Salam Alemu in Miss Garber's class and Michael the Mayor McGee in Miss Holder's class. Celebrating birthdays tomorrow, Mr. Will Butera uh, in Miss Miller's class, Aditya Patil in Miss Perry's class, Mariana Pico in Miss Conrad's class, and Salvador Tabuada Guevara in Miss Calkins' class. Students, we can't have you in the building right now, but when we do, we will have you come down to get your birthday pencil. <coughs> Scratch that, I've got pencils on the brain. It's your birthday book, not a pencil. Eh, that was a little weaker than the first one. All right, so we do have a think about it question today. Would you rather explore the ocean deep or take a trip to outer space? Silly, what would you rather do? I would explore the ocean deep because wow. I really love water. All right, so speaking of water, we're going to hand it over to Miss Locke and Everly for our weather forecast for today. <laughs> Hi TQ stars, hope you're doing well. I think of you often and miss you a lot. Hopefully you got a chance to play outside yesterday when the weather was nice and warm. Today's weather isn't gonna be as warm, but still a very sunny day with highs at 60 degrees. Everly's excited to rock her sunglasses all day and take lots of naps on the porch. That's your weather for today. Now back to Mr. Mullenholz. All right, so while we were off camera, we had a quick discussion, and Lily does think she'd like to explore the ocean deep, while I have always dreamt of flying with the stars. So I'm going to look into exploring outer space. All right, so from outer space to the ocean depths, we do have some great news from our green team. So we're going to hand it over to Miss Burrell and family to give us some exciting news about all the hard work we've been doing to conserve resources. So Miss Burrell, take it away. Hi Ashburton, it's Mrs. Burrell, kindergarten teacher. It is my first day back from maternity leave and I wanted to say hi to all of my students and all of Ashburton students, staff, parents. This is Jackson, my co-anchor and my junior reporter, Nora, and we are here to give you some good news. So while I was on maternity leave, I received some awesome news we received another cert award for being green so great job and i want you to remind you to be green at home jackson what's one way that the kids can be green at home uh turn off the light when you're leaving the room what else could they do turn off the water Yes. When you're brushing your teeth. Yes. So, or you could help your parents or uh, the grown-ups that you live with sort and take out the recycling. Another exciting thing that I found out when I was on leave was that we received a three, 
$3,000 grant from the Whole Kids Foundation through Whole Foods. So I am so excited to get back in the garden with the Green Thumb Club with the third, fourth, and fifth graders as soon as school resumes. And I miss you all very much. And it's so nice to be able to say hi to you virtually today. So have a great day. And we will see you soon. Say bye. 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 Wow, that is amazing news. Thank you to everyone for their hard work. Thank you to Ms. Burrell for her leadership. All right, today is our Mindful Monday, so we are going to hand it over to Ms. Strauss for our Mindful Monday update today. Ms. Strauss, good to see you. Good morning, everyone. It is Mindful Monday, and this is Ms. Strauss doing one of our Mindful Monday practices. So today's practice will be smelling the flower. So it's a great opportunity while we're gone from the school building to enjoy nature. So let's do some breathing in and breathing out of these wonderful flowers that seem to be all over our neighborhoods. Ready, set, and go. And if you're a little bit allergic to some of the pollen out there, remember if you're going to sneeze, sneeze into your elbow. And then wash your hands. Bye, everybody. All right, from Ms. Strauss to Ms. Gillespie, we have two amazing counselors with two amazing things to share. So, Ms. Gillespie, what's the update on this week's challenge? What's up, Ashbert and TQ Stars? Here I am. I'm out of retirement, taking a little socially distant walk, repping my Ashburton as always. Just here quick, wanted to tell you about our challenge of the week. It's gonna be called the thank you challenge. And this week what we're gonna do, there's a lot of people out there working super hard during this time. So we wanna take the time to write a note or a picture to say thank you to someone who's been working really hard. It could be a parent, it could be a doctor. I have a recommendation, our awesome building service workers have been doing an awesome job keeping our building clean. So post those notes, post those pictures showing you saying thank you to somebody who would really appreciate it. Can everyone say thank you? Thank, thank you. you. Can you, you say thank you? Say thank you. <laughs> All right, everyone, have a good Monday. Remember to get in those What's Good Wednesdays for me uh, later this week, and I will look forward to announcing a bunch of them on our Wednesday broadcast. Have a good week. All right, thank you, Ms. Gillespie and family. So before we sign off today, Lily, do you have a joke for us today? What does a buffalo say to his son when he goes up to college? What does a buffalo say to his son when he goes off to college? Toodles? No. What does he say? Bison. 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 Yep, get it, got it. Okay. Thank you, Lily, for assisting with the broadcast today. We are going to end, as we always do, with our TQ Star Pledge. It was a pleasure seeing everyone virtually. We hope that you enjoy the first day of distance learning with MCPS. And with that, we're going to stop and end our broadcast with our TQ Star Pledge. I pledge to be a top quality star who strives to reach my goals by taking responsibility, acting safely, and respecting myself and others.